Guys, before the video begins, I now have a mailing list. Subscription is free and subscribing means you get tutorials that won't be on my channel, access to early builds of my games, early updates, exclusive game development blogs and more. Head to the link in the description to enter your email and join. Hey guys. Lakey here and welcome back to another video. So this is a little bit overdue as it happened around a week or two ago now but as you can see from the title I've revamped my hyper casual game Balance the Blade for Android which you can in fact download right now for free. If you want to do that go ahead and click the link uh, to the Google Play Store that is in the description hopefully. Anyway, so today I'm going to be talking about the process of making a game for Android, the stress I had within certain parts, what was easy and just my overall view on the process of porting to Android and also how release went. So when I finished development for the PC version, I knew I wanted to build a game for Android in 2020. The only issue with this was that I didn't actually have an Android. So I bought a new Hawaii P5 phone for about 90 quid and that meant I could test any mobile games using that at any point of mobile development. So initially, I wanted to get a scope of the amount of work needed to port this game from PC to mobile devices and honestly, it wasn't much. The main focus was moving away from keyboard input and introducing a touchscreen input. One that was clear and simple but not in any way hard to use, obnoxious or blocking the view of the scene at any point. This honestly didn't take much work. Developing the game from start to finish for PC took me about 6 days. It would have taken longer if I had a big brain and could have multiple high scores for different levels but at the time I didn't. So I focused on one level but making it as polished as possible. Anyway, changing the input system took me around a day to do and the end result I was quite happy with. To make sure it was working on Android, I connected my brand new Android to my PC and done my first test build. Buttons in Unity automatically work with touchscreen input so that worked already. The main menu and the settings and stuff was all working just fine. The game's movement buttons were also working as well, great. But there was one problem, the game ran like an absolute potato. I was hit at about 10 to 15 frames and it was just absolutely horrible. I had flashbacks to my first laptop that had about 2 gigabytes of RAM and I tried to play Rocket League on it and I couldn't even hit double digits when it comes to frames. So after this test build, I knew the main development issue was going to be mobile optimization. Developing 2D Windows games so far on a pretty good PC, I hadn't really faced this issue so far, so I really didn't know where to start. After some research, I think the main issue causing frame rate drops was the post processing. This was annoying as the game looked really good, but I didn't want to but I had to sacrifice some of that basically. But I didn't want to get rid of it completely, so the key was finding a good balance between good performance and good visual quality. After many test builds, I came to the conclusion that I was still dropping some frames unnecessarily regardless of post-processing which is super annoying. So I went into the project settings and toned down some of the anti-aliasing which basically blurs lines to make it look smoother and the overall visuals of the game and that seemed to fix it. This also seems to be a matter of finding a balance just like it was with post-processing but we got there in the end. After this, the game was pretty much ready to be built for good, so I thought the hard part was done. I was so, so wrong. Turns out making the game is a breeze, it's literally everything else that makes app development for the first time hard. Firstly, I wanted to test out ads in my game. This wasn't for the money because the like CPM rate for ads is really low anyway and knowing that I wasn't going to get very many downloads on this, money really wasn't a focus at all. I just wanted to see if I could get them working. So I cycled through Unity's ad system to see what type of ad I wanted to implement and went with banner ads. These are ads that just stay at the bottom of the screen. They aren't pop-up ads, they aren't obnoxious, so I was a fan. Now implementing these into scripts in Unity took a long time. I chose to work with Unity's ad system and it didn't end up going well, but we'll get to that later on. So after getting all the code working, finally, it seemed that the banner ad was working and it was showing a Unity test ad at the bottom of the screen. I was happy with this and decided this was the final thing to do for the game. Now it was about learning how to put it on the Play Store. This wasn't too hard, it was just really time consuming. So I got a Google developer account after paying $25 to Google and put in all of my details. I then started a new app draft and started filling in the settings for the app such as the title, description, doing tests for age rating and all of that stuff. Safe to say it took ages but it went pretty smoothly to be honest. Once it was done I needed to hand in my app bundle. I didn't know what an app bundle was. 
So after some long winded googling, creating passwords in Unity, keys, developer app names and all sorts, I pieced my app together in a bundle file and gave it to the Google console. I really had zero experience with any of this so I had to do three or four bundles before I got it right. After getting the final one I submitted it for review and waited. I waited for about seven days before it got approved and then all of a sudden it was on the Play Store. A couple days after that I announced it on Instagram and some other places and got a couple of reviews. At this moment in time the game has 12 reviews, 11 being 5 star and 1 being 4 star which is really cool and I'm super grateful to everybody who did leave a review. One thing I noticed was that ads wasn't working. It still showed the Unity test ad, for whatever reason it just wasn't working and I think I stupidly didn't turn off test ads before releasing because I am apparently small brain. So I scrapped the ads and got rid of the banner entirely and let people just enjoy the game without. This was slightly disappointing as it would have been cool to see ads working but in a future project I'm sure I'll take a different route to this one. This whole process was about 2-3 to three weeks and was honestly so stressful at parts but it was quite fun to do. Overall I'm really happy I've done it, I've learnt a lot and I'm going to apply a lot of it to future mobile projects. Don't forget you can in fact play this game for free by heading to the link in the description. Also, you can play my other games on PC completely free of charge by the other link in the description. So, I thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a lot. If you have any other videos you want to see, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.